I'm also a mom as well, Bobby, and um, I have gained a lot of new followers. So I will start with a short introduction. I live in the Netherlands, right in the center of the country. And I live in Nijkerk with my husband, Rob, and we have three children. Lars is turning 28 in three weeks. Sven is turning 26 in two weeks. And Kirsty, my daughter, turned 21 two weeks ago. So um, they are all grown up. Kirsty is living with us for, well, a short amount of time. Um, right before Christmas, she returned from her internship in Barcelona, in Spain, and she is staying with us now until she has a new dorm room. Um, she is going to uh, work on her, on her thesis and um, she really wants to move out again. Um, we have a lot of fun, but you know how it goes once you have moved out and lived on your own. You really don't want to live with your parents again. I think that's kind of universal all around the world. Um, before I forget, during Vlogmas, I did some giveaways and uh, one giveaway for a row counter chain uh, the winner has not um, contacted me yet. Uh, this is my last attempt to get in touch. Um, Keely Johnson 9855, you won the row counter chain from Ginger and Time. Um, I will probably record a vlog in a week or so. Uh, if I haven't heard from you then, um, I will redraw uh, or I will, um, I will use it as a giveaway all over again. I'm not going to redraw and find the Vlogmas um, where I initially uh, um, had it as a giveaway, but I will just make a new giveaway. I have a, a whole list of things that I had to dis, uh, I had to uh, tell about in my Dutch vlog, but uh, not everything is applicable for the English vlog. But um, I do want to tell you that I went to a four day fair last week and we had a blast. Um, I kind of had to... Um, rethink uh, the whole booth because I thought I had 10 meters um, in my yarn booth, but I had 10 square meters. So, uh, and I ordered uh, tables for 10 meters in length. So when we came there on Wednesday, uh, the entire booth uh, was full with um, tables and I was kind of surprised that no one in the organization thought this is strange so many tables in such a small booth but okay well in the end uh, I had to rethink how I would uh, set things up um, but it worked. We had a wonderful fair. We had so much fun. So many people came to see us and came to uh, pick up the button. Uh, that's this one. Uh, we almost ran out. It says, shh, I'm counting. And um, we don't have uh, cards. We have buttons to put on your project bag. And whenever you visit us at a fair or Whenever you uh, order something in my web shop, um, I will send you a button. Oh, yes. Oh, a web shop. I have a web shop in hand dyed yarn, handy knitting notions or crafty notions, really, and um, my own designs. So, and I go to fairs 
with my web shop. And I am a Bowen therapist. Bowen is a very soft technique to help people back to their optimum health. Okay, so I introduced myself. Uh, I told about the fair. I will show you what I got on the fair. Uh, not really my haul because this was a gift from my sister. This is um, a marker that washes out uh, in water, which I need to uh, design my embroidery on my knitting. Um, I got her a little gift as well. This is uh, a little bag, a little leather pouch by uh, Marco Arends. Uh, I will link his Vinted um, site down below because he makes all these cute little bags and shoes and pouches out of um, pieces of leather that are just leftovers. So I bought one for me and one for my sister. Um, Inge from Hobby Bags visited our booth and she gave me a pin with her logo, which is also uh, herself, her, herself. Um, I got a stitch marker from stitchmarkers.nl. They stopped by. I got stitch markers from Floor. She has a brand new yarn shop in Zeist, um, pretty close by to Nijkerk. Um, and the name of her yarn shop and her logo is Atelier Bond and Blauw. Which is a really funny name, but I can't explain in English. And um, I had my birthday in December. And um, since uh, mail is very slow in December, it took a little time to arrive. But I got a card from Nanda um, saying congratulations. And she sent me some stitch markers as well. This little flower and a handbag and the cat with the diamond necklace. So that are all kinds of things that I got, bought or were gifted. Um, this year, uh, no, for the last two years, I designed a 40-day mystery knit along and I was planning on designing one this year too but uh, the week before we went to the fair um, I've reached my point of no return that is the point in uh, um, that is the point in time in which you have to be certain that the pattern launch can be made and I was not certain. So to avoid a massive amount of stress for myself, I decided to call it off with pain in my heart, by the way. Uh, I enjoy the mystery in it alongs tremendously, uh, but this is just too early. Um, Lent starts, um, on February 14th, which is early this year. And I was just not sure that the pattern would be ready for launch. And well, um, I decided no. But then I was at the fair last week and two Dutch knitters said, why aren't, why aren't we going to knit my warm wool hobby? I told you in a vlog earlier, I will insert a picture here. Um, my sister designed a, a cowl for me, a collar work cowl. I don't have he, I don't have one here. Uh, she took both of the samples home after the fair, but I will insert a picture. And uh, she designed it for my birthday, 
and um, it's a, a all over color work cowl with all kinds of little hearts and it's lovely and the knitters uh, that visited my booth said why aren't we going to knit that during Lent which is brilliant so we are going to do that the pattern will be ready later this week and it will be for free until the end of January I don't know if she will have the English pattern ready but it's uh, all charted so if you do want to join you can um, send me an email and I will make sure that uh, you will get the charts before the end of January and then you can join in and um, me not launching a mystery knit along doesn't mean I'm not going to do 40 vlogs because I am going to do that I enjoyed Vlogmas very much and I would like to do 40 vlogs again. So I'm going to do it a little different this year. I am going to put up a vlog on Saturday for you to watch on Sunday. And then on Sunday, I won't, um, I won't vlog. I will just enjoy my day and knit and whatever. And so then on Monday, there won't be one. So, um, but there will be 40 vlogs, um, except for skipping the Sunday, I will skip the Monday. Let's see, my finished objects. On December 31st, I was on the finishing frenzy, so to say. I finished one sock, I only needed one because it was uh, for showcasing in the yarn booth. Um, it's already lost in samples, so I'm going to insert a picture here. This is uh, just a plain vanilla sock with the eye of partridge heel in my Lemna colorway. I finished my temperature blanket. Twenty twenty three. I got this little leather um, label earlier in the year and I decided to um, put it on my um, temperature blanket right away because otherwise it would probably get lost but this is my temperature blanket for 2023 and we only had one really hot day during the summer well I um, I take the temperature at noon so we did have more uh, warm days, but um, not at noon. The third thing I finished on December 31st is my Adventuresome Wrap. This is a pattern by Amber O'Brien, and it is uh, suitable to use up your 24 skein Advent. I just uh, grabbed 24 mini skeins uh, from my shop uh, to make this sample. Oh, and you need one main color for the um, in-between rows. But this was such a joyful knit. And I really love how it turned out. So Amber O'Brien, Adventuresome Wrap. I will link it all below. And then we have a love note. Look at this. I finished this this weekend. This is my love note sweater in Holst Garn and Drops Mohair. And um, we have snow today. Well, it's not snowing, but there is still, still snow. So I was so happy to be able to wear it. It turned out quite big, quite wide. It has a longer back, by the way. Um, but it's quite big, but that's because I uh, lost a few sizes recently. And I started this a year ago, so 
well, it's a uh, holst garn and mohair. I'm not going to try and frog it because that will probably be a disaster. So um, it's a little bigger, but I do like it. So recording a vlog today is quite challenging. Somehow every time when I'm in the middle of my line of thought, someone enters the room or someone is FaceTiming me. So it is a, a bit messy. And I did record the Dutch vlog already, which I started twice as well. So I hope I'm not forgetting something and I hope I'm not telling things twice. I was about to tell you about our um, year-long Christmas ornament make-along. This was an idea by my sister. Uh, she saw around Christmas, uh, like a week before or something, she saw someone who had a handmade uh, ornament guirlande around her uh, windowsill in the kitchen. And she said, oh, wow, that's so cool, but I'm never going to finish it now because it will be Christmas in 10 days, for example. So she came up with the idea to um, organize a year long make along and do a Christmas ornament each week, for example. So then by the time it's Christmas, you will have 52 or maybe a little less or maybe just 25, but you will have Christmas ornaments to decorate your house with. <clears throat> I would love to have a guirlande around my kitchen window. So um, the first one I made was this star. And you might ask, why is it green? Because I was planning on a tree, on a tree first. And then it didn't work out and then I was in a hurry and I saw a picture of a star and I wanted to try it out because there was no pattern. So I, I made this up and then it turned out really nice. So I have a green star. <laughs> and this morning I finished this little Christmas tree. And... Um, This is a free pattern. I don't know by whom. And I didn't like everything, um, how, she, how she did it in the pattern. So I did, um, well, free form a little bit myself, but I do like the finished object, isn't it cute? But this is already week three. I did not do a Christmas ornament last week because of the fair. So I'm going to try and do another one this week, probably. So that's my Christmas ornament knit along. By the way, the leftovers of the Amber O'Brien Adventure Sum are in my um, leftover sock, my scrappy sock pattern. I got this from Beam, a knitting friend, and she sent this to me with a 20 sided dice. And um, as you can see, I put a color in each, in each hole. And then um, I decided to do heels, toes and cuffs in the same color. So I've already finished one sock, 60 rounds on the leg, I think 80 rounds on the foot, uh, heel toes and cuffs in the same color, and I did five rows per color. So this has a very high one more stripe uh, to it because it's just five rounds. And then you want to know what the next color will be. The second sock is already through the heel. I'm working on the gusset, but as you can see, I am uh, rolling the dice for the second sock as well. So it will be a different sock. But I like that. 
I have all these scrappies and it is so much fun to work on. So I hope to have this finished next time when I record. Uh, at the fair, by the way, we had tiny cards like a business card size with six holes for a six sided dice, just a regular dice to make a scrappy sock. And um, people who particularly liked uh, my scrappy sock or who bought uh, six or 12 mini skeins, uh, they got a, uh, a little card to uh, make their own scrappy sock. Um, let's see, I already talked about my love notes. I talked about my finished objects. Okay, so I'm working on my scrappy sock. I started an Ariana cardigan yesterday. And the Ariana cardigan is a crochet granny square cardigan. By It's a free pattern by Barocco. I will put it down below. And I decided I... I tried several squares, um, several uh, color sequences, but I ended up liking this one best. I like the pop of color in the middle that is in my golden leaves colorway. And then we have a round of where's my martini. And then we have a round of fire and, yeah, vuur en bos, fire and Wood, fire and bush. And then we have where's my martini again and then in the navy and then another round of where's my martini. So and in the end, I will have to assemble all the squares and I will use fire and woods again to um, knit them together or to crochet them together. And then the Ariana cardigan has uh, knitted cuffs and a knitted neckband and button band and um, a knitted hem and I really like it and I will try to um, to um, keep this going because uh, my sister and I decided that we need to have something to wear at the fair preferably um, the same kind of thing. So she is knit, she is crocheting an Ariana cardigan as well, but in different colors. She has in the navy, we have, we, we, we both have in the navy. And then she has dunes and uh, house mouse, house mouse and rosebuds. So uh, we will have the same cardigan in different colors. And I'm going to make all the squares the same. Um, there are lovely examples of people who uh, swapped the colors uh, throughout the cardigan, but I, I like it this way. So that is going to happen. What is also going to happen? Where did I put it? Oh, here. In one of the vlogs, well, quite a while ago, I showed you a sweater that Kiersey bought um, six years ago, I think. And it is completely worn to, to bits. She loves that sweater. So she asked me, can you design a sweater like that one? And she wants to have one in, in the navy. But the sweater has these big ruffles around the sleeve, three in a row. And I think that if I'm going to do that in my merino yarn, it will probably turn out too heavy. So I told her, she was helping out at the fair on Thursday and Saturday. I told her that uh, on a quiet moment, she should take the colorway that she would like to have the sweater in and go shop for lace, which she did. And she um, ended up buying at Abmesga, the lovely Asta and Vitas from Litouwen. And this is her Pegasus 
uh, yarn, it is 72% kit mohair, 28% silk. It is 25 grams, 210 meters. Just to be sure, she bought two, but look how lovely these look together. This is going to work out perfectly, I think. So during Lent, during the 40 days in which I will record nearly daily vlogs, I will work on this design as well. And of course, I could just try and knit her that sweater. But I don't have a sweater pattern. Um, I, I never designed a sweater pattern, so why not make notes, grade the thing, and just put it up for sale? So that is going to happen. So um, if you are going to follow my Lent vlogs, you will probably see a lot of it, because I'm going to knit this, and I'm going to knit... Um, on my warm wool hobby cowl and of course on my Ariana's um, uh, vest because that needs to be finished and my weekly Christmas ornament. <laughs> there is no need, no need to be bored. Not. So now I hope I recorded everything, that I didn't miss out on anything. I will see that when I'm editing the vlog. And if there's really something that I missed out on, I will um, mention it the next time. That's probably the best idea. At first I thought, shall I start all over again? But that would be like the fourth time in a row and then I'm going to forget things as well because you never remember if you already said it or if it was in the previous recording or if it was in the Dutch vlog so we will just go with the flow to um, plan my designing time this time this year I bought myself a purpose planner 2024 i made a list of things i want to design because last year the entire wall hobby web shop and going to fairs it was all so successful so i'm not complaining i'm explaining that's something else it was so successful that it kind of um well, there wasn't any time left to design. And I do want to design things. So yesterday, my first um, day of work after the fair, I started a toe-up sock, a basic pattern. I started a patterned sock top-down um, with my sock set. Um, and I, I have several things I want to design. For example, that sweater, I put it on my list for 170 hours, I think. So that, that's the knitting and the grading and the tech editing. And so um, I made a list of all the things I would like to do. So um, my Advent project, for example, the one that is going into my Advent calendar, but also the one that we are going to knit in December. I need to have that finished like mid-October, so my tech editor and test knitters have time to, um, to knit it and check it as well. So I, I'm trying to make a good planning this year so that I can design all the things I want to design and so that I'm not running out of time and I don't have to stress. I don't like stress. Who does? No one really, I think. So um, that 
is about it, I think. My active works in progress are a Christmas ornament, Ariana cardigan, my leftover sock, probably starting Kiersey sweater. Oh, I'm also I also started a Hexipuff uh, project to make a new seat cover for my for my chair. Um, but I, I, I forgot to bring it here. So I will show you next time. Okay, so and, and the, both of the sock designs will also be in my active rotation. And some of the things I will only work on during the day because they are work related, really work knitting. And some of them I will work on um, during the weekend or the evenings or something like that. I'm going to have a blast and I'm going to enjoy myself knitting and designing and crocheting. I hope you too. I wish you lots of crafting time and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.